This is Neil Pittori. In this segment, I'm going to talk about calculating the EB over N naught ratio. And this will come in two parts. First, I want to talk about N naught, the noise. So, noise power spectral density, we refer to as N0. It has units of watts per hertz. Okay, if you look at power spectral density, it always has units of watts per hertz. Noise is a constant power spectral density across frequency. But so the, the function, there's no frequency in this function for n naught. But you should also know that watts per hertz is the same as watts per one over second, which is equal to watt times second. And a watt times a second is a joule. It's energy. So n naught is energy. We can find it. We can find the value of the noise energy contributing to our receiver by multiplying Boltzmann's constant by the equivalent temperature. And equivalent temperature is what we refer to as TEQ. It's going to be higher than the actual temperature. It's going to be some factor F times the actual temperature of the receiver because electronics, amplifiers, everything in our cable between the antenna and our receiver add to the noise, not subtract from it. So we're gonna increase the temperature compared to the actual temperature. K is Boltzmann's constant. You're going to want to remember this because you're going to be using it. It's 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23rd. And the units are joules per Kelvin. As you might expect, because when I multiply K by a temperature, I get joules. Okay. So you would be given the equivalent temperature for a receiver you would alternatively be given a noise figure for that receiver and a uh, true temperature to use in your model. The next topic is EB, the energy per bit. So far, we've talked about the received power as C. Um, and I said it was called PR in some other books. Let's use units of watts for this instead of milliwatts. Here we're going to use TB, the bit period. Okay, if I just do P TB multiplied by C, this is energy per bit. Okay, power times time is equal to energy, and that's where I get the energy from. Alternatively, I can write this as C divided by RB, because sometimes I have a bit rate, which is 1 over TB. And overall, I may have an EB over N naught, and I want to know the relationship of that with C over N naught. Well, I can see that uh, EB is equal to C over RB for N naught. So I can write this as C over N naught times this fraction 1 over RB, or I can write it as C over N naught times TB. Either way, I'm getting my way to convert EB over N naught to C over N naught using the bit period or bit rate.